Hey everyone, it's Arvin. Okay, nobody asked, but we are at Round Top, Texas for the Round Top Antique Show this week. And we are looking for anything and everything from art to decor to really beautiful vintage furniture for the house. Now, if you don't know, Round Top is the largest antiques fair in the country, and it happens twice a year, one in spring and once in the fall. And we actually went last year for the fall season. We found the most amazing vintage furniture for the house, and I just, I want to go back. We want to go back. It's the perfect place to learn about all these different makers. So we are in the main road right now and like there's all these different tents and booths you can see here on the side. There's so much vintage and antique furniture. It's like you can literally spend all day just walking around sourcing for projects or your home or just for inspiration. So what I love about Round Top is you almost have to be just a little bit impulsive if you find something that's one of a kind or it's exactly what you're looking for. You don't have time to think. <laughs> Last year, I was like thinking about these chairs that I saw and I kept umming and aahing about it and we walked away for literally a minute and came back and they were gone. So it, it's one of those things. It's like everyone is here to shop. Everyone is here to have fun and you just, you can't think about something too much. So if you find something, you just gotta like, you gotta just grab it, you know? And I still regret not getting like some of the things that we <laughs> we saw last year. So we're not making that mistake this year. If I see something I love, we're gonna say yes. We made it to Marburger. See, everyone's in line. I feel like we made it just in time. It's 8.45. They ring the bell in 15 minutes, so you have to like go in there and park and do all the stuff. So, okay, we're right on time. You guys are running. I got my <laughs> ticket. We are here at my favorite booth. This is Pattern Mill. So many things are already sold, but we did get a few really great pieces. We got this writing desk. It's so good. I love the detail in the front, the brass, and you just kind of turn and it becomes a little writing desk. Are you kidding me? It's so good. I'm. This is the kind of um, piece that we've been looking for, just like really special, super unique, that you just can't find anywhere else. It's a little busy here. Andrew really wants another pair of the Vicka Bozen chair that we got last time. Jay acquired it from a hotel in Copenhagen and I'm just like, no, we don't need another one. Um, I do love these chairs. Charlotte Perrion chairs. I'm, I don't know, I guess I love them, but we're gonna pass. We did miss out on an armoire. There's another piece here. Look at this day bed. Are you dying right now? It's probably French. Chapeau table. Um, we didn't need a round table, but that's amazing. Stools. This day bed is insane. It's a little too big for the house though, I think. Um, we almost bought it, but I just I just think it's I just think it's a little big. There's this piece here too. I talked Andrew out of buying a pair of chairs that we don't need, but look, oh, oh my God, wait. Look, these French chairs are amazing. Oh, here's some more chairs. Perignon chairs. Oh, this is a good spot for like bar stools, dining tables. Okay, I'm trying, I'm trying to find some prices for you guys, but it's a little bit hard. A lot of them are unmarked. Um, let me see. Just so much good stuff. Look at these. Oh, how amazing are those? Stop it. Stop it right now. Okay, let me see. Oh, that's so fun. OK, 
Okay, we're trying to find one of our favorite dealers. His name is Cyril. He is here somewhere, I think. And I'm also looking for outdoor planters. Really cool. There's so many. <gasps> they have the chairs. Oh my God, they have the chairs. Oh, but they're a little, she's a little tattered. I love them though. Oh, I wonder when they're gonna be here. Oh, wait, oh, they have these. Look, they have these. They had some similar ones last time, but it was sold. Oh, that one's lovely. Oh, but it's a little broken. No, no. Okay, let me go over here because they have a sea of Lily Ghoul. Oh my God, stop it right now. <gasps> Are you dying? I'm dying. I am dying. I gotta show my friend Tristan because what? <gasps> stop. I need a few of these. I don't know how many, but definitely a few. I'm gonna mix it in with like these smaller ones, with some of these larger ones. Some of these are like really tall, might be a little too tall for the house, but I, w I just want like, just those small ones, you know? We are now here at Jersey Junker looking at some of his beautiful French antiques. Spotted a Charlotte Perrion piece. I think Andrew wants to get that. It's very similar to the one we have, but this looks, it's like, it's like adjustable. And there's some really cool, I just love little stools, you guys. I just really do. Oh, look at those sconces, stop. Wow. Hey, how are you? Okay, wait, let me look over here first. Oh my God, you guys, stop. Okay, I told myself I would not buy another furry sofa or furry chair, but I mean, I, I just, I can't be stopped. <laughs> this lamp, stop it right now. Look at the red. Guys, this place just makes me so happy. There's so much beautiful furniture. I just, <laughs> We made it to Enneby Home. They had a ton of really great mid-century pieces here last time. So we're gonna check it out. Oh, they have my Scarpa. I've been wanting this set every time they post it. I do miss the one that I sold you guys, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's go over here. See what else they have. Lots of fuzzy chairs. Let's go from here. Look how pretty these flowers are though. Look how pretty. Wow. It's prettier here in the spring versus the fall. Look, what are they, like blue bonnets or blue brushes or something like that? I don't know. I, just making that up. <laughs> no, I see people on Instagram talking about them and I think they're calling it blue bonnets. Anyway, let's go do some more shopping. We made it to Amelia's booth. I actually just got to talk to her and meet her. She's so sweet, you guys. I'm waiting for Andrew to pull the car up because we did pick something up from her. And I'm back because I think I want to get these nesting tables. I kind of love the leg. Oh, this one's a little, needs a little repair. But I like how it's like legs up front and then like a piece in the back. It's really cool. So that's the chair we got, you guys. Oh, look at the you said no to the lamp because marble would pee on it. Marble would definitely pee on the lamp. He would think that it's like a pillar or something. No more ready shots here. Oh, no, no worries. Yeah, let me know when you're ready. 
ready for you. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Truck, yeah. Okay. Okay. Put that back. This credenza is insane. It's Spanish. Oh, so good. Day two, round top, Marburger. Really want to find some smalls today and decor and just kind of take our time. It's not going to be as busy today, thankfully, so... And today's a great day to make deals. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> <Boom. laughs> we have two. Oh. That's our, she's our greeting committee. Uh. <laughs> oh. Hi, you are so pretty. <laughs> You're like a Mr. Marvel. Oh. Oh, that's so sweet. Andrew's not here for the furniture. He's here for... The Mr. French, Miss Frenchie. I left my phone in the car. Oh, you did? You should probably get it. Okay. Oh, I'm loving these. This that sculpture is really pretty. Okay, I'm getting distracted. I think I gotta go to Jay first. Okay. We picked out an art piece from a curator that I follow on Instagram. She has some really amazing pieces, you guys. And right now we're just kind of, kind of just looking at everything. It's a little bit of a slower pace today. We're just taking our time. Last stop is Jay's booth, our favorite. We kind of went back and forth, picked a few favorites, and we did end up coming back for the day bed, you guys. It is just, I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea where I'm gonna put it. <laughs> but we don't have anything like it. It's French, it's very old. We might need to refinish it. The oak isn't as like rich in tone compared to like this day bed, you know? Like this is amazing. But I feel like the shape is, you can kind of find it, you know, you can kind of find it easier compared to this shape. Yes. Oh, let's do it. Oh, I forgot, oh my gosh, you guys. These chairs yesterday mm -hmm. sold so fast. They're French. And I guess the designer never came back to pay for them. So when we were here this morning, I had to pick them up. <laughs> they remind me of Jean Royer, like the shape of the back. And look at the legs. It's very sculptural, very me. Had to get it. Um, this day bit is amazing, but I think it might be too busy for the house. And it's also sold, but it is gorgeous. Console. You guys, Jay is just my absolute favorite. And look at those scalloped sofas from like the 20s. I'm dead. Another great day bed. I don't know if I shared yesterday that I did get one of these Pierre Chapeau stools. The table is insane. Whoever got that mirror, bomb. Look at that mirror. Look at the details, you guys. And these are all vintage. I mean, these are what all of the companies are doing right now, copying vintage mirrors, because look, I mean, hello. It's our last day here in Round Top, Texas. We stayed at Rancho Pillow again. This is actually where we stayed the first time around, and this place is just magical. I mean, just look at this ranch. Um, the flowers, I don't know what they're called, like the bonnets, they're all blooming and everyone here is just so nice. We've had dinner here the first day and we had dinner there the second day. This place, I, I can't even explain it, you guys. It's just magic. There's like different areas you can stay in. There's this teepee you can stay in. There's a outdoor bathtub there. There's a, there is a, uh, what's over there? There's a hot tub there. And Andrew's over here packing up the U-Haul. I was actually driving everything back to Los Angeles because, not gonna lie, shipping is a little expensive. Um, and we did not want to pay shipping this time around. <laughs> everything is, everything is packed. It's packed and secured. Yeah. Oh, is this that Pierre Chapeau table? Oh, uh, who is that going to? Some guy named Anthony. Oh, nice. All right, everyone, that was it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm about to hop on a plane. Andrew's about to start driving back home and I'll do a full round top haul once we get settled back into the house. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions about round top. I will try to answer as many of them as I can down below in the comments and don't go yet, watch this video next and I'll see you in that video. Bye everyone.